And I, I love it when you sing to me And you, you got the song into my head Thank you so much, show. Thanks for that. Thanks, Taylor. Thanks, everybody. Had that song in my head the entire week. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? I am back with Motherland. Season 2, episode 7 called Irrevocable. The ratings look insane, so I have high expectations for this episode. I was super stressed at the end of the last one. I can't believe they just ended with Riel being kidnapped. Um, it, they made up for it by playing the song again. <laughs> um, but seriously, I just feel like it was an obvious thing that she was going to be a target when they're going after the, the strongest vocal cords. I and mean, speaking of vocal cords, Alders is messed up right now. I can't... That was probably the most shocking thing in the episode. I, I couldn't believe it was happening to our powerful general, you know? And that it seemed so easy. Um, I've read a lot of theories on my comments. Thank you guys so much for that. But it seemed like one of the biddies, you know, was the one that Nikta was looking through. So perhaps it's a new one because, you know, she might have seen a opportunity when Tally was given the choice of not being a biddy anymore and that way they must have rushed on another biddy and that's maybe how she um, got a spy in Alder's circle. But I don't know. Definitely a spy. Definitely someone uh, working with her to hurt Alder. I don't think it was the best time for it though because we have the Camarilla to worry about. I feel like Nixa doesn't care about that really even though they're killing a bunch of witches. Um, I mean, fair from what we know of the whole situation, um, Alder used Nikta's work to hurt a bunch of people. Um, so she's been wanting some revenge. I want to know more. I feel like now Alder's her defenses are a bit down. Maybe she is going to explain what's going on. Um, I absolutely broke <laughs> when she asked Anna Costner to be by her side. It's just, you could see how close they are. Like, we didn't see much of it. Like, it was, you know, glimpsed over that... You know, Anacostia was raised by um, Alder and in the academy. Um, but you could see how Alder even thinks of her as her daughter. It was, their bond is very great because, you know, we saw Alder get emotional when Anacostia went behind her back. And then she asked her to be by her side even before she got hurt. Because, you know, she feels strong with her there. And they can protect each other. And now when she's at her weakest, she asked Anacostia to be there as well. And that was just so freaking cute. I want everyone to work together. I want, you know, um, Willa. I want Scylla. I want Adil. I want Abigail. I want Tally. Everybody should just work together to find Riel. Um, hopefully, you know, either she escapes by herself or they get her on time before they cut out her vocal cords. I don't know if they're going to experiment on her first. That could buy a lot of time. We shall see. Anyways, let's get started with this episode. Oh, yeah, just a heads up before I get started is... Um, uh, my last three reactions will obviously be late because I am going to be in Sweden. I leave this Sunday to be with my family. Um, so, you know, that's priority number one for me. Um, I'll get to these reactions when I find the time. And so, yeah, thank you so much for your patience. And I hope you stick with me. Um, I feel like the finale is going to be insane. So, yeah, I'm excited. I think Nikta created the spree. We knew that from, like, ages ago. <laughs> Wait to see what he can do with yours. What he can do? Who? Are we gonna meet some new character? Oh my god. We have orders to keep Miss Special Projects here on And you were useless! Completely useless! It was just too easy to kidnap her. It was absolutely too easy. Like, come on. She says Rayelle has been kidnapped. Have the car brought around. Me yeah. back to base. Let's get to this issue pronto. Like, I need her found. <laughs> is she getting new biddies already? I mean, it makes sense. She needs to be able to use her powers. Wow, that's healed fast. Ah, oh, the way she looks at her. <sighs> Thank you. Hey, she can talk. Nice. We're staying. Of course. Don't look her. Ooh. I see, I see the anger and that. Ooh, dang. Okay, guys, already off to like an intense ass start, man. You're awake. I am surprised, considering the amount of paralytic we gave you. 
Well, it's because she has a mushroom inside her. You have a very special gift. <laughs> we will have that. Oh my god, I hate the camera so much. Do be careful. You're already gonna try and cut it out. It's gonna defend itself, right? So many colors. That was a pretty rock. When we got separated, oh, that's we cool. use a tool like this to find each other. We call it a Krename. Krename? Blood compass. Ooh. That I sounds awesome. Kalita's around my neck and she has mine. Dude, he knows so much cool stuff, like. Definitely we should learn some from him. Ooh. The big one leads back to the sycamore grove. The smaller one. To the rest of Charlotte. Ooh. How far? Let's go. That way. She's calling back up though. A hundred miles. I don't know. I feel like they're really powerful. I'm sorry, Mr. Collar, this is for college administration. I'm looking for Al Collar. Is she there? I don't I don't know. Aww. I'm sorry, I Shit. Well that was smart. We're too late. To know. She's Daughter. been taken. Why do they want Riel? We can wonder why later. Oh yeah, Wait, they don't know about her powers. <laughs> Dang, when she finds out. Oof. I know. One of my daughters is in the hands oh. of the And if you set foot outside this room, we cannot guarantee you won't be hit with an immediate attack. So it's like a fortified room, so that yeah. Nick they can't attack again. Vice President's here for you, General. Mm. For the joint I don't trust him. About the testing <laughs> if we're all wrong, that'd be hilarious, but why would we trust him? Including the spray that attacked you. They should see that they failed! We can't Ooh. risk exposing you. Or He's the business so angry, man. Join the Vice President in Maya, please. Now his office, I'm occupied well, with a classified matter. I bet Petra liked that bit of a little promotion while she's... Hiding. The thing is, like, how could a, sp a biddy be a spy if they can s just see each other's minds completely? Like, oh my fucking god, guys, can it please protect itself? Please. Oh, this is so triggering, man. I can't even. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Freaking out. <laughs> Fully freaking out. Dude, what the fuck? Is healing her? Healer. That looks so crazy. <laughs> yes. Fuck them up. Yes. First of all, your hair looks great. Second of all, where are you? Like inside something? Is this in your head? Like it's hair on point. <laughs> Hello? You're talking to the mycelium now? What? Oh my god, that's so epic. It's triggered by death. At least we know how to get it going now. <laughs> Don't cut into her again. I can't. Ready the clean room. I can't see that. We're going to try something new. Oh, let's go. Fight, fight. God damn it. And you're gonna lead us to the girls you took. Tang. That's some crazy ass mind control. She's used it last season. She's right. Up by my cousin's place. Who's there? Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. There's so much new, like, magic stuff we see in this season. I love it. Stay safe. How? I'm just not even reacting. I'm just fully engrossed in this episode. I can't even... Whew. What's not to understand? Witches have, like, 16 husbands. They raise their kids to be killers. That does not look like a 16-husband kind of lady. 14? <laughs> Which is are all in Beat them up. Them are Just a little bit. Cousins. Fine. They don't have enough. No, kids, I don't. So but I, I would. <laughs> she isn't in the wrong here. Ooh. Are you gonna remain a pacifist? Or punch back? 
Ooh. Damn, I do. To use a little bit of magic there, I heard her. There is a solid chance she will hate both of us after all is said and done. Yeah. Can you live with that? I don't expect her to forgive me. Ah. <laughs> My heart. I just want her to be safe. You really love her. I do. Oh god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm guessing we have your blessing, right? <laughs> Mom. That girl knows how to put up a fight. And she's invincible. So... Yeah. Some good acting right there. I guess I'm feeling old-fashioned today. This guy's such a freaking creep. Of all the old methods we... Why don't you ask your team from the tram? <laughs> oh, wait. You can't. <laughs> so sassy. I promise you. Oh, fuck me. I hear- I can't hear that, man. How many times Sorry. are they gonna freaking hurt her? It's painful every fucking time. Oh, that looks so cool, though. She can't hurt the kids, can she? Uh -huh. Wait, chose her? Is that way you chose her? Are they alive? Yes! I wonder if each time she dies if the mycelium gets more and more like control over her? Or what's the how does that work? Your line ends with you. My line ends with me. Oh yeah. Here sure. we are, Tareem and Bellwether. And we can either lie down in the dirt and die, or we can take back all the life that Camarilla have already taken from us. Good speech. And live. Let's fight. It's also just a punch to a douche, so I wouldn't feel too bad about it. What the hell? How many powers does he have? Would be best unto him. Oh, let's go invisible, yes. Dude, he has so many cool powers. Okay, we're all here now. Where the heck's the military? They're being useless. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's super impressing this episode. Find my daughter. Don't leave. There's a lot of people you gotta fight. What? <laughs> it's like a dog whistle. Like, dog, attack your owner. Nice. You found the kids. You get them out of here. I've got this. You got this, yes. <laughs> Fuck him up. Don't get. Don't. Oh, shit! That is gnarly! Oh, you tore his face up. That was awesome. Really? Oh my gosh. This is it's so easy for them to kill people. <laughs> that took two seconds. So many years of I didn't know you could do that. Pacifists. Neither did I. Yeah, that's too easy. It's dangerous. Dude, you broke every single bone in his body, right? You pulverized his bones. Need to get those girls out of here. This is definitely changing a deal. I can't wait to see that for the storm. And bad news. Rip his face up too. The good news is. <laughs> oh wait, is it the black shit? Every generation gets a little stronger. Didn't the mycelium get that out of uh, Kalita? Dude, something's going. Something bad's gonna happen. Uh, Why don't you guys, like, kill him? Dude, you broke his Where neck. Is she? There! She's in the clean room. What is he doing to her? That's witch plague. That's the same thing they did to us in Brussels. Mom! She'll probably be okay? Oh my gosh. The effects are really, really good this season. 
So it's gonna keep fighting it off. Keep fighting it off. Wait, yeah, doesn't it have to go somewhere? Did, like, I think when Kalia was saved, it went into the ground. I'm not really sure. I don't really know. You're gonna see your powers, right? You need to step back. Mom, don't go in there. Tell her I loved her more than anything in my whole life. She, she can probably fight it off. You gotta wait. They don't know anything about her powers, though. She's saying that, so she's gonna take it upon herself. Oh my gosh. Mom. Oh my god. You gotta be joking, man, right? She hasn't even gotten to hang with her mom at all. Doesn't even know she's alive until now. And now she's dead. Oh my gosh. Shit just keeps getting worse and worse. Can she heal her mom, though? There's my baby girl. You, you gotta meet in this little world to say goodbye. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, I missed you so much. <laughs> Taylor cries, I cry. Leaving you behind. It was the biggest mistake of my life. I am sorry, Rayo. Leaving me. All I ever wanted was to make a world where you could be free. Oh, I don't understand. I have always loved you. This is so unfair. <laughs> I hope one day you'll forgive me. Mom, please. Stay. <laughs> Losers are just like that. <sighs> Dude, that's... That really sucks. Uh... So sad. We can handle this from here. Come, Come on. on. She needs to be there with her right now. If she already lost her mom, she can't lose her again. There has to be more of them inside. They're never gonna stop coming out. Yeah, destroy that house, Adele. Come on. Mm -hmm. Dude, this episode is a lot. It's a lot. That was awesome, Adele, and I'm happy that you're here. I wasn't sure about his character last season, but man, he is an asset now for sure. And probably the only person I'd want Abigail to be with because, you know, he's not military and he's just got so much power, but he doesn't want to hurt anybody. But he's kind of forced to right now. Something again. Get nature, venture. Oh, shit. You're joking. What? 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 Are you joking? My freaking god, this is torture, man. These are ways that they used to kill witches too. They shouldn't be possible. Not within the warding circle. How? It's a bitty. Yeah. Oh, you guys freaking called it, man. That lady. Pally sees it! Pally sees it! Oh! Pally saw that. Damn. Oh shit. Victor? Dude. She saw into her, uh, her head. How could the other babies not sense that? Mm. I'm so glad Tally's the one that saw it. Like, she keeps saving the general. Like, I want her to explain everything, you know? Because Tally deserves to know. She deserves to hear it from the general herself. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. It's okay. You're safe now. Don't end. Don't end, please. Ah! We finally got a freaking reunion and what this happens. Oh my god, I'm pissed. <laughs> Who else reacted like that? Can't be the only one. I was just in tears since the mom died. Willa, you deserve better, man. Um, 
I mean, what other way would she have wanted to go other than saving her kid? Like, that's every parent. What an incredible episode. I gotta say, this topped all the other ones this season. Just because it was just so packed with stuff. It was like no slow moment, you know? And it just flowed really well. That Like, you couldn't stop watching. You could not look away, you know? So that's good writing before I get into anything. I should react to the After the Storm because I'm... Man, this was an episode. I need to have all the facts so I can start talking about everything we saw. <laughs> of course, it's freaking Amalia just smiling like he. <laughs> Let's see what you have to say, girl. There seems to be a sort of torture theme reserved only for episode sevens. Yeah. With shooting these types of scenes that demand a lot from you emotionally, physically, mentally. There's a lot it's really of torture. Hard to kind of come back out a of lot of torture. It's, it was really important for us to remember not to take our work home with us because it will deplete you very, very quickly. Yeah, I feel like acting wise, everybody put everything into this episode. Like there was just so many great moments. It was insane. All Silla can do is just sit tight uh, next to Rhea yeah. and be there for her. She Hold definitely could not leave her at that time. And then it's up to Riel if she wants to take it or not. They finally get together, and it's not like a kiss, kiss, everything's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's tentative it wouldn't be. and it's careful, but you can tell that there's still a lot of feeling there, and it's so much fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, and then you cut it off Scylla's right behavior. when she was getting good. Abigail's not fond of Scylla. She yeah, broke we could her tell. sister's heart, <laughs> she tricked all of us. They're both pretty convinced that the other one's a little stupid, and a little brainwashed. <laughs> So at this point, yeah, when she's fair. Faced That's with pretty Abigail. fair. And they want to see if the witch bomb will affect these captive witch children, and it turns out that it will not. Yeah, I want heart Abigail witches, so maybe it became useless. Humorous. When she sees these kids, I think she realizes there's a bigger picture. You know, I, I think yeah, it's not this just whole about episode Carol. is about putting others before herself. What's interesting is the mycelium, the way it manifests in her, it, it almost uh, possesses an intuition of its own. The mycelium does have an agenda. It spoke and, to her. And so does Rael, and those agendas kind of merge and mingle. It has judgment and morality. We'll be very interested to see where that's blossoming from. Where? In the upcoming episodes. Yeah. You gonna tease that? That was it? Okay. So concerning that hint that Taylor gave us at the end about upcoming episodes and mentioning that the mycelium has a moral compass and all that, I wonder if it was originally a witch, which was somebody's theory in my comments, which, you know, makes sense. And it shows real because she doesn't, you know, strive for power. She's just herself. I wonder if it's still someone theorized that maybe her bloodline was related to the mycelium. I don't know. Uh, it will be interesting, but it, it's just such an interesting concept it, that her consciousness, every time she died, would go somewhere safe uh, where the mycelium would, like, could talk to her and keep her there until she healed her body. All the graphic stuff you know it was very well done but it was so hard to see you know rail being cut up in the throat um being crushed uh seeing her her mom be killed by the plague seeing alder be you know hang like in the air like this like getting her limbs pulled like these are old torture methods and it was just hard to see these women go through that but i feel like they're gonna come out stronger now at least rail and Alder is going to keep getting pissed off until, you know, she gets Nyxa back. Uh, they know now it was a bitty. You guys were right. I'm really proud of y'all who called it. Um, it makes sense because, like, they were behind Alder and only the biddies were behind her. So, like, when someone wrote that, I was like, yeah, it might be a bitty because there was a new one, right? So that was a prime opportunity. It's probably what Nyxa's been waiting for this entire time is to get that opportunity, you know, to weasel her way in. And the fact that Tally saw that, too, with her powers... Man, Alder really owes her, and I, she owes her the whole truth, and I hope we get it, because we need to see from her view. I feel like it's it's very clouded. I mean, she saw the, all these memories, but I don't feel like we saw it from Alder's perspective, you know? So I feel like we need more information there. Rayel is unstoppable, and I wonder if the Mycelian could have healed her eventually from the plague. Uh, but I did think that it needed to go somewhere because I believe that it went somewhere else when she healed Kalita. And the fact that her mom took it onto herself, like, 
I mean, that's probably the way she thought she could make it up to real by saving her life. But they just had barely any time together. It was just so tragic. I just feel terrible for Riel. She, she's been through so much. But at least she has Scylla there by her side now. I think she needs her. And Scylla knows that she needs her right now after losing her mom. She just found out was still alive. At this point, Scylla probably even knows her mom way better than she does. Isn't that crazy? Maybe they'll talk about that. Where in the hell was the military this entire time? Like, Abigail and Adil um, found their way there super fast. You know, Scylla and Willa found their way there super fast. The military wasn't even nearby. They had no idea where the hell anybody was, like, in the Camarilla. It was so satisfying seeing um, Adil just sink that house down because it just felt evil. I feel like this was a really big episode for Adil and Abigail because even though they have a lot in common with how they're the last of their line um, and they have to step up and fight. You know, Abigail is used to fighting, um, but she had her mind set on just one thing. Well, she, whereas she, there was just a bigger mission, you know, there's a bigger uh, goal and she had to realize that. And that's what Ashley explained in the After the Storm. But Adil as well, he killed people this episode. And he said there was 10,000 years of pacifists in his family. And we literally saw him I don't know what he did to that dude's body, but it looked like his bones were just dissolved or something, but he just fell dead in two seconds flat. And then he sunk the entire house out of a bunch of Camry in it. They all deserved it, you know? Um, but I feel like it's gonna change him for sure because, you know, that's just something, it's built into your family, it's ingrained into you, and then you do it. It's, it's gonna be interesting to see how he feels about it. I wonder if Adil and Abigail will be able to, you know, get through this together and be on like an equal level. Hopefully, I mean, he has such crazy powers. Like I, I, even he didn't know he could do all this shit. And it's just, it's super impressive, honestly. And it's just really cool to see these different kind of powers that, you know, the army doesn't even have. Yeah, that episode was just insane, I can't, even wrap my head around all of it and I can't wait for the next couple episodes hopefully I'll get them out on a decent time but just be patient I'll be as fast as I can um I'm really excited for my vacation though so you know I'll be well rested for those reactions actually <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye